Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. Now, if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. And this one actually comes out of a question that's been asked quite a number of times over the last couple weeks. Kind of interrupted my schedule here to do this one because it is very helpful. So people, a lot of people would ask me, how do you get that prefix and the suffix to show up in your chat? Um in your chat displays. So um, for instance, like um, I'm using my prison server build permissions file here. So if I just type in test, how do you get that to show up before, or if you have like a VIP after, so that's a prefix and then that's a suffix. So how that's done is previously uh, permissions X or PEX has been distributing a chat manager plugin with their permissions file and then you would just enable that and then it would automatically grab that stuff and display it now they have not been doing that it still works if you can find it but they don't directly support it so we're going to show you how to do that in essentials so let's hop over to essentials i'm going to pull that up right here and it's been reloaded we're going to actually uh that's the permissions we'll get to that and here's the section you're looking for in your essentials so you need essentials chat and essentials.yml in your plugins folder for this to work as well. And if you're using Notepad++, just look for line 492 or just scroll down until you see this. Essential does a great job of grouping settings together because it's a lot of stuff. So a few features with this is you have a radius setting here so you can have people not be able to talk um, to each other within a certain radius, which is pretty cool. I've never really seen a need for that but i've never really run a really big server or like a town you know city town rpg kind of server but anyway the chat formatting is done in two ways here you have your global format which is this or you can do group formats in here but you know since we kind of handle it in the permissions files i don't think we really need to to denote the group formats. I would note that this variable here, group, is gonna show exactly what your permissions file shows. So my group for B prisoner does is not B, it's B prisoner. So it would show B prisoner display name message. So we're just gonna mess with this one right here. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get rid of those stupid carrot things because I hate them. So, and then we're gonna put a uh, col semi no, colon in there and then let's change the color of the message let's make it uh, dark gray so we're just going to save that and then we're going to reload essentials here and then we go test so making that change over here uh, makes it so everything that comes after that so that's the message uh, come makes that dark gray. So now let's say we want to change the username as well to be that dark gray. Now we can't do that in the essentials here because if we put it right here, the colors are red from left to right. So everything after this color is going to be that color until it meets another color change. So if we do a color change here, as soon as it gets in the display name, it's going to hit this color right here and then it's gonna change back. It's gonna be whatever it is. It's not gonna care what you did there. So what we wanna do to change any colors in the display name, so the display, display name is gonna include the prefix, the name, and the suffix. It is all gonna be grouped into this one area. And so we're gonna open up our permissions file here and find um, too far down, too far down, Seaguard. Here we go, we're a B prisoner. So this is the dark gray and then that's going to make that uh, bracket dark gray. And then it hits this color change, which is a green. And then, so then the letter B, as you can see here, is green. And then it's going to hit this, which is going to change it back to dark gray. And then it's going to hit that, which is going to be, that is white. F is white. I'll put a link to the color codes in the jibbles below and put it over the screen right now. But if we change that to the same color, let's say 8, and then um, let's just, let's have some fun. Let's keep the colon white there. So now we just need to reload essentials and pecs. And now we go testing. So now you can see we got a gray username, uh, white colon, and then gray um, uh, message. Let's try, let's try this. Let's try changing my username to a purple 
just because that makes it easier to see. And then all we need to do is reload the packs because that's all that we changed. And now username is that purple, which is five. So the, I guess the one thing to note is if you have a username color change right here in your prefix, if you're running a suffix like I do with the VIPs here, um, it's going to change that color unless you denote the color change right here. So just kind of think of it all in line. So it goes prefix, username, suffix, and then message. And whatever comes next is going to be the color. So it's all in one line. It's going to keep changing the colors of those letters until it meets another color change command. And that's it. That is all you do for your messages. You can do... Um, you can change the layout here all that you want using these these uh, variables in here. You got display name, message, group, world name even. Now keep in, keep in mind that if you install multiverse, by default it's going to show your multiverse world. Um, so you want to hop in your multiverse. If you're seeing world names in your chat and you don't want that to be and you're running multiverse, go and check your multiverse config. It's really easy to change. I don't really need to do a tutorial on it. Um, but that by default will change the, the chat. So if your chat ends up looking differently than anything in here, then you're probably running another program or another plugin that is overriding this chat formatting. So that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully that was helpful and uh, pretty quick and easy and very useful. So um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Got a bunch of links in the jibbles. Be sure to check them out, as well as links to further explanations of what I went over in here. And be sure to join me next week. And if you have a plugin suggestion that you'd like to see, feel free to put that below. I'll I always copy those down. If I use it, I give you a shout out. And so this is Cosmo McFriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game. God bless. Okay, so Henry's giving me protection three causes oh, crop protectors. Oh, 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 oh. He's dead. <laughs> and there's.